Hey, what is up guys, and this is iReviews. In this video, I will show you the top 20 city tweaks compatible with iOS 8.3. The first tweak for this video is called Showcase. What this tweak does is that it makes it easier for you to know when you have the shift key turned on or off. Now normally on your keyboard on your iOS 8 device, whether you turn on or off the shift key, you will always have the letters in uppercase. But you can see right here when I turn off the shift key, the letters are in lowercase. And when I turn on the shift key, they are in uppercase. This tweak doesn't have any options to configure. You can download it for free. Next up is a tweak called Flurry. This tweak allows you to customize the blur and tint of your device. As you can see it right here, the notification center and also the control center. They look really cool. Now if you go to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button, then here you can choose your blacklisted apps, and then you have two modes. You can choose between a simple mode and an advanced mode. Now if you go to the options of this tweak, here you can blacklist any of the UI elements of your device, and then lower here you can set the levels of blur and tint on your device. Just enable them right here, set the levels with these sliders, and then just respring your device and all the changes will take effect. Next up is Power Tap. This tweak will add some more options to the Power Down menu of your iOS 8 device. You can see right now if I go to the Power Down menu, I can tap on the button right here and it will switch from slide to power up to slide to reboot and then slide to respring and slide to go to the safe mode. And if you go to the settings of this tweak, you can enable or disable any of these toggles. You can also rename them right here. The next tweak for this video it's called Cabolia. This tweak will replace your recent contacts on your app switcher with these very useful toggles. You can add them right here, you can rearrange them or you can remove any of them. You can do all that by simply going to your settings, go to Cabolia and here you have an enable button, then you have the switches. If you go here you have your enabled switches and then you have your disabled switches, you can add any of them, enable them, disable them or rearrange them. And if you go back you can also enable section label and switches labels right here. Next up is a tweak called Cylinder. Cylinder will add these cool animations to the home screen of your device. When you slide through your pages you see you have different animations that you can choose when you swipe through your pages on your home screen. Now if you go to the settings of this tweak you have an enable button where you can enable or disable it, then here you have the effects. You can choose different effects, you have a lot of effects right here. You can also combine two or more effects and get some cool effects on your springboard. Next up is a tweak called Classic Dock. This tweak will bring back the old iOS 6 dock to your iOS 8 device. As you can see it right here, it looks very cool. Now if you go to the settings of this tweak, you have an enable button, then here you have two different modes you can choose from. Then here you can enable a darker background for the dock, you can enable reflection of icons, you can also show a running indicator in the dock, which will show a running indicator at the apps that you have running in the background. You can also enable bounce icons on launch and then here you have a respring button for all these changes to take effect. Next up we have a tweak called Switch Spring. This tweak allows you to swipe up on the home card on your app switcher and now it will give you the option to respring, quit all apps or just cancel. You can see if I hit quit all apps right here, it will close all the background running apps. This tweak doesn't have any options to configure, all you have to do is install it. The next tweak of this video is called Blurred. What this tweak does is that it will replace the normal white keyboard of your iOS 8 device with this darker one which looks very cool. Now if you go to the settings of this tweak, all you have here is an enable button where you can enable or disable this tweak. You can download Blurred for free from the Big Boss repo. Next up we are going to talk about iFile. iFile is also compatible with iOS 8.3. What it does is that it allows you access to all the files of your device. As you can see it right here, just open it. You can search for any file or you can go ahead and explore any of your files. You can download iFile for free from the Big Boss repo.
The next tweak for this video it's called no slow animations. What this tweak does is that it will disable all the slow animations from your device and as you can see right now the animations on my device are really quicker. You can see the effect of this tweak right here and if you go to the settings of this tweak you have an enable button where you can enable or disable it and here you have a slider where you can set the speed of the animations. Now here on the left it's faster and if you drag it to the right it will make the animation slower. The next tweak for this video it's called Bida Font 2. Bida Font 2 allows you to customize the fonts of your device. Now after you install it you will get an icon on your springboard you open it up and then here you have basic if you go here you will find the fonts which you will download from Cydia just go to Cydia and search for beta font and you can find in different fonts to download then you will see them right here as you can see all you have to do is just tap on one of them and reach bring your device and now you will have a different font as you can see it right here you will have a new font on your device next up we have a tweak called side delete this tweak allows you to delete the apps that you have downloaded from Cydia just like a normal app that you have downloaded from the app store. You can see right here I can go ahead and delete Bida Font directly from my springboard. Just hit the X button right there and I can delete it directly from the springboard. If you go to the settings of this tweak you have an enable button where you can enable or disable it. Then here you have two buttons which enables the protection for Cydia and the Pangu app. The next tweak for this video is Preference Organizer 2. This tweak will organize your settings app as you can see it will place all the sections of the settings app into four sections you have Apple apps, social apps, then you have app store apps and you have the tweaks right here. You can see if I open tweaks here we have all the tweaks that I have installed separated from the other stuff on the settings app. If you go to the settings of this tweak you can enable or disable any of these sections you can also rename them and then here you have an apply button you hit that to respring your device and all the changes will take effect. To download this tweak you will need to add a repo which I will put in the description. Next up we have a very useful tweak called double cut. This tweak allows you to insert your email anywhere you want by simply double tapping the add key on your keyboard. Now the first thing you have to do after you install this tweak is go to the settings, go to double cut, hit edit right here and then enter your email right here and then you can enter your email anywhere simply by double tapping the add button on your keyboard. You can see right here you can enter your email easily anywhere. Next up we have a tweak called swipe selection. This tweak allows you to easily move through text by simply sliding here on the space bar. You can see if I swipe here I can move the cursor anywhere I want on the text and now I can edit the text right here. You can see pretty simple just tap on the space bar and slide your finger and you can move the cursor anywhere on your text. This tweak doesn't have any options to configure you can download it from the big boss repo. The next tweak for this video it's called transparent dock. This is a simple tweak all it does is that it will remove the background from the dock on your device as you can see it right here the docked icons don't have a background. It looks very cool. This tweak doesn't have any options to configure. All you have to do is install it. Next up we have Unlim Tones. This tweak allows you to set any song as the ringtone of your device. When you install it you will get an icon on your springboard. You open it up and then here you can search for tones or you have the top ringtones right here. You have top albums. You can search for any of them and you just go to one of them, open it up and then just add it to your phone. Just click on it hit add here it will add it to your phone just click here and now you will see it when you go to ringtones here you can see it will add that ringtone to the sounds of your device and you can set it easily as the ringtone of your device. Next up is Zeppelin. Zeppelin is a well-known city tweak which allows you to customize the carrier logo of your iPhone. You can see if you go to the settings of this tweak all you have here is an enable button where you can enable or disable this tweak then here you have theme if you go to theme you have all these logos that you can choose from you can also add additional ones simply by going to Cydia and search for Zeppelin. You can also completely remove 
the logo just hit none right here and as you can see you won't have anything but the bars here at the carrier of your phone next up we have a tweak called circle icons this is a simple tweak what it does is that it will reshape the icons of your settings app and make them round you can see it right here it will make all the icons on your settings app in circles and here if you go to the settings of this tweak all you have here is icon shape if you go here you can choose default or circle and you can also completely remove all the icons just enable it right here and then just hit respring for all the changes to take effect next up is dark folder 7 this tweak will customize the look of the icon and also the look of the background of your folders as you can see now the background and the icon of the folders are much darker they look very cool and if you go to the settings of this tweak you have an enable button then if you have two buttons you can enable it for the icon or for the background so these are the top 20 city tweaks compatible with ios 8.3 i hope you guys enjoyed them and don't forget to subscribe to our channel also go ahead and follow us on twitter you can find a link to our twitter account in the description of this video